Welcome to Mr. J's workshop. Today uh, in the workshop we have beer glasses and wine glasses that we're engraving. This is a recurring job that I get all the time and, and I use print merge with this job. And I thought it was a good opportunity to share with you how I use print merge to make my life a lot easier putting names on all these glasses. So with that said, let's get started. Print merge can make your life a lot easier for laser engraving. So today I'm going to show you how I use this for my beer glasses. I'm going to show you a single column field, a four column field, and importing from an Excel file. First thing I'm going to do is call up one of my designs for the beer glass. I'm going to look under my drinkware file, select one, and import that. Our next step will be uh, opening up Print Merge. I have it in my Docker on the right here, but you can find that under File, Print Merge. Now we can create the document. We're going to say Add a Column, and we're going to say Name. Uh, this document only has one column, and it's just going to be Name. Next, we're going to add names, bottom left corner plus, we're going to add a name, and I'm going to only add five names here to keep it short. Five here now, uh, we're going to say finish. Uh, we're going to say insert selective field, uh, change the font and size, and we're going to rotate this. So the first thing I'm going to do is uh, rotate uh, name 90 degrees so I'm going to select transform uh, rotate and then 90 degrees and say apply okay uh, now I'm going to select center justification I'm going to say shift P to uh, center to the page and I'm going to change this font to a Clarington Bold, and I'm going to enlarge this by, uh, uh, I'm going to make it 45 points. I'm going to hit Shift P to center the page again, and now I could go back to Print Merge and uh, Merge to New Document. There you have it. So we have the five names. Uh, they're here on the document. The only next step there would be would be saying print, send to the laser, and uh, and start engraving. So next, I'm going to do a four column field, and I'm going to use a name badge as an example. And the first thing I'm going to do is uh, open up one of my templates. I'm going to select a name plate one. And say open. Next step will be selecting print merge. You'll see that on the right of the screen. Or you could just open it up from file, print merge. Next, we're going to create. And we're going to start adding our fields. Uh, the first field is going to be name. And then we'll just say add. The next column is going to be the title. The next column is going to be years. And the final column is going to be badge. Now all we have to do is uh, add the name. So we go to the lower left corner. There's a little plus sign. I'm going to select plus, and we're just going to use first names for examples. So the first name here is going to be James. So we selected the name field, and we added James. Then we go to the next field, which is title, and his title is president. And then we go to the next title, uh, the years that he's been president.
And then the final field is badge. And this could be like an employee number or a badge number. And what we're going to do next is uh, we're going to do uh, four more names with uh, their fields filled in. So with a little bit of video magic, uh, we'll speed this up. So now we have all five names. Uh, we just select finish, go to insert selected field, and we're going to select name and insert. Just going to move that up a little bit and uh, select next field title insert. Go to years insert and the final one is going to be badge and we'll say insert select the field now we have all our fields uh, on our name badge it's just now adjusting the font size and uh, sizes to yeah so it looks pretty good now that they're all selected uh, I'm just gonna uh, adjust the center uh, justification uh, deselect it and just select name and I'm going to resize this and change the font um, I think what I would like uh, is it like a Times Roman and we're gonna make this uh, 36 points next we're gonna select the title I'm also gonna make this Times Roman and I'm going to make it uh, 16 points for the size of the font. Next, I'm going to select year. Um, I, I think I would like to change that to Arial. And I think I'm going to make this 12 points. And the final one is badge. And we're also going to make that aerial and we're going to make that 10 points. And I'm going to take the bold off and take the bold off of the years. Just going to move everything around to organize it. Okay, we're going to select all, uh, select align and distribute, and we're going to, uh, equally space the fields and now they're equally spaced make a little adjustment on the bottom here merge to new document All five names are now merged to a new document and this gives you an idea how you could use print merge to set up multiple fields and have it filled in for you. Final step would be file, print, and start engraving. So this is an example of a customer send me an Excel file and this particular file uh, under the columns, uh, the first column is name, second column is title, third column is years, and the fourth column is badge. And then their information plugged in here. Uh, 
Now this customer did send me a CSV file, which you see that here. But if they didn't do that and they just sent you a regular Excel file, all you have to do is go up to your file menu, say save as, and then go to your drop down here and select uh, comma separated values, uh, CSV. You just select that and then you would hit save. So then the next step, I would just go back to Corel and start running the job. We'll just process this like we're running a normal job. First thing we're gonna do is uh, open up file, open up a template, and for this example, I'm gonna use a name badge. Uh, I have several templates here. I'm just gonna click my, my first one. Uh, it's a basic template. It has the same fields as the customer. The customer already provided the names and saved it properly. So now I would just go up to file, print merge, create, import a file. My customer's files here. I'm gonna say open. Here's all the names with their fields. Say finish. Merge to new document. Now all the names are, are here with their fields. This document is ready to go. All I have to do is say print, goes to laser, and I can start engraving. Well, I hope this was helpful. If so, give us a like. Please comment below, uh, subscribe, and we'll see you next time.